now. Okay, so like if I sort of like, let's say I want to cancel my belief in glasses, uh, uh, using glasses or needing glasses or, or in my belief in fuzzy eyesight and that I need uh, glasses, um, uh, then, um, and I say it over and over again, I mean, with the things I definitely want to clear, I do do it over and over again, like sometimes two, three hundred times ago. Um, and is that like bargaining with God? Uh, or can, is that like, and why, why have I not got faith to, to say it just the once? And is there a detriment to saying it over? Or is it, or is this a bargaining with God? I think that's actually a brilliant question. I'm glad someone did bring that up. Because, um, okay, bargaining with God and yeah, I think actually that's really important. Somebody said that, and I get a chance to answer on that. When I share about the cancelling belief, it's generally to help people let go of the things that they're suffering from. But um, but I should actually say, I mean, I should actually, I mean, it is an advanced group, say that um, when you do cancelling of beliefs or feel the feelings or observer, um, the best way to do it is to let go of the outcome and not to expect divinity to give you the outcome, especially not, or one of the big errors that students have is, well, if I've done any, any type of spiritual student is like, I've been doing the practice for three days and it hasn't worked yet. Why hasn't it worked? You know, I've done it for two days and I really did it hard for two days. And, you know, I'm still overeating. I'm still got bad eyesight. I, I, I did it like a lunatic and it's still not working. And uh, why isn't it working? I mean, you, you give me lots of rubbish teachings, so you're a false teacher or something. Should I go elsewhere? Because it's not working. I'm doing exactly what you tell me to do. It's not working. Now, this is the thing of, uh, you know, uh, someone mentioned bargaining with God. Well, you know, it's a bit like you could say theoretically, uh, I mean, I, th I think, you know, for me, God is love. And if you do spiritual work or not is not the main point. But um, but it's the thing of having what's called a time, you know, for the limit for this for the ego self who wants to get rid of something in, in its life that it's suffering from, to say that I'm going to give the spiritual work three days to work. And if it doesn't work within three days, then you know, this is this is not working. And so what I, and I should actually mention this is really important, actually. You should do all spiritual work and surrender the outcome to God, surrender the time it takes surrender whether it happens or not uh, to God. And, and when you're feeling up feelings, not have the expectation that if you sit with, I don't know, a food craving that it should be gone in a millisecond, you know? So that's like a, that's, an, that's a limited belief of expectation of an outcome that you're, you're, you're demanding divinity perform for you. So really the ultimate way of doing all spiritual work um, is to surrender the outcome to God and do it anyway, out of faith and love of God, of, of divinity or a higher level of consciousness. So that's the way, because otherwise it's an ego manipulation of the divine, that if I behave myself and do the spiritual practice, I want my goodies. So that's bargaining with God. So actually, I don't really talk about this because I sort of knew this a long time ago, but I should say it to the people I teach to, that when you cancel a belief, when you surrender something, when you feel a feeling out or go to the observer, you have to let go of your motive to want to affect an outcome in the world, like a time outcome or an expectation that it happens or not ever. That has to, and, it, and then generally my experience is it happens more quickly and more often. Um, but having that attitude of it's a manipulation of divinity or it, divinity must provide this within a certain time period uh, is actually a resistance to, uh, oh, well, I'll share my experience. I think those attitudes will probably block it if they're here and they, they need to be cleared as well. So when I cancel my belief, I don't cancel, I mean, yes, I mean, on some aspect, I do want to not wear glasses, but if I was doing that, but, but whether it happens or not, I cancel it. It's like something I do without wanting an outcome. That sounds like a paradox. Why would you do something if you don't want the outcome? I just uh, intuit, I mean, I think the right word is intuitively think this will be useful, whether it happens or not, so what? And from my experience, I have experience as well. It seems like if I've got a problem with this much feelings and this much pain, generally things have disappeared in my past experience. It takes about three years of work or a year of work or several hours over months of work 
And it's not to do it for the outcome, but it just feels like intuitively, I need to do three hours a day for, and probably it might be for months or a few months, but I just intuitively do it without expectation of outcome. Now that sounds paradoxical. Can I explain it more? But it's like, um, so whether it's like, if I cancel my belief in, in death, whether I live a hundred years or not, is not my business. Um, I think there is, what, but why do, why do I think it doesn't happen sometimes, even if you do a lot of spiritual work? Well, I think, you know, this world is um, a karmic world and it's not just my lessons that I need to learn and display in the world as, uh, you know, if I'm a spiritual teacher or whatever, or a mother or a, or a, a lover or whatever it is. It's more like there's other spiritual lessons that others need to learn, the whole world needs to learn. And so there can be, you know, if you like, divine blocking of certain things in certain scenarios, which is from a higher authority. So that's the, the, that's the thing. So that, these are really, um, yeah, anyway, I'll shut up now. Uh,